watching Edivision TV. Like, share, and subscribe. Greetings sports fans, welcome back to another episode of Edivision TV. I'm your host Eddie Guna and this is a channel where we look at sports differently. Now, quick update on reggae boy Ravel Morrison. Now, it is understood that former Manchester United star set for EFL return as Sheffield Wednesday battle Bolton Peterborough after MLS exit. Now it's been reported that these three clubs in England look to sign the reggae boy. They look to get his signature. And as you know, he's a free agent without a club and he's still looking to be that difference maker in a team. Now Sheffield Wednesday, Bolton Wanderers and Peterborough United are exploring moves for former Manchester United prodigy Ravel Morrison. Sources reveal Morris is a free agent after leaving Major League Soccer side DC United at the start of the, of the year. The 31 year old is keen to fix himself with a new club as he wants to get back to playing football on a regular basis and a number of clubs are weighing up moves for the Jamaican International. Championship strugglers Sheffield Wednesday are keen to bolster their attacking options to boost their survival fight and have been alerted to Morrison's free agent availability. Meanwhile, League One promotion hopefuls Bolton and Peterborough are also looking at the free agent pool to try and straighten their squads for their promotion pushes in the final weeks of the season. Morrison, who came through the ranks at Manchester United, was highly regarded at Old Trafford with Sir Alex Ferguson rating the attacker as the most talented youngster he had ever worked with during his time at Manchester United. Ravel also had spells at a host of clubs including West Ham, Sheffield United, Derby before joining DC United in the summer of 2022. In total, Morris had played for clubs in a total of six different countries but the Mancunian could soon have the opportunity to return to the one he was born in. He could either be back in the championship after previously represented six different clubs in the second tier, totaling 94 appearances between them. In contrast to his 18 Premier League appearances or signing on in League One for the first time in his career. A move to Sheffield Wednesday would be interesting given his pass with their cross city rivals Sheffield United, who he played just four times during the 2019-2020 season. Indeed, of the 13 clubs he have ever played for, less than half have given him 10 appearances or more. Bumbuckland. So people, what are your thoughts? You know, clubs in England once again reaching out to reggae boy Ravel Morrison. Can this now be a lifeline for him to get back in the Jamaica national team? Or is it just an opportunity for these clubs to sign a, a big name player, so to speak, to sell jerseys? You know, I've been hearing rumors in England that if these clubs should sign Ravel, it's only for the media hype. It's only to sell jerseys. Now, I find this to be totally, you know, disrespectful, you know, to the player, if that's the case. I know he comes with a little bit of hype, you know, he also comes with a certain baggage as well. But we all know how brilliant Ravel has been over the years. But for me, to be honest, he is getting a little bit stale. And um, the stats don't lie, people, you know. He's barely making 10 appearances for, for the clubs that he, he has played for, you know, you know what I mean? So it, it doesn't look good. On Ravel's side, and I don't think 
easy player to make that big impact in the first team. He can add a little bit of experience in the squad, you know, especially in the dressing room. But in terms of turning around a relegation team or a team that, he, that looks to, you know, to be getting relegated, I don't think he's that player to come in and you know, work magic. You know. He tried it at Derby. Um, didn't, didn't work out well. I know they had the points deduction and everything, but it was always difficult for him there. Um, he was at Sheffield United. They got relegated as well. He barely you know, made appearances in the Premier League. So a lot of clubs over the world, you know, not giving Ravel, you know, the, the playing time, I think he, he, he wishes he, he could get. And, you know, a lot of Jamaicans wish that Ravel could be getting that, that level of playing time. But we've seen it from the top, you know, down to the bottom. Now, smaller teams are not, not really giving Ravel the chance. And um, is that still good enough? For Ravel to walk back into this Jamaica team, I don't know. I don't know at all because if the small teams, the smaller clubs across the world are not giving Ravel that playing time, they don't see enough, you know, to put him, to start him in games. He's not offering enough for them. You know, so many clubs can be wrong on a player. You know what I mean? You know, will he just come to Jamaica and turn it on? Definitely don't know, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is it over for Ravel Marissa? Can he sign with the club finally and make moves? Only time will tell. And I still hope that he gets a contract. He loves the game. I still want him to, you know, to be with a team and to be able to play. But as it is right now, you know, just wait and see and we'll know for sure. If it's the right move. So there you have it fans. Ravel Morrison. Back in England. Will he put pen to paper. And sign a contract. With one of these clubs. Is this the breakthrough. For Ravel Morrison. As it relates to. The Jamaica national team. I'm Eddie Gona. Thanks for watching. Always remember like share and subscribe. This is Owen Hill from PFJL, CEO of Professional Football Jamaica Limited, home of the Jamaica Premier League, the Gold Cup, and the El Clasicos. You're watching Eddie Vision. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. The baddest thing around town.